now we have uh, a game that is still not super interesting so I we figured that we wanted to, to give the player something to collect and the uh, most obvious thing we could think about was to add a coin so we added the coin uh, PNG to to the atlas, the level atlas and created a coin game object that we have seen this before, it contains a sprite with this coin in uh, the default animation, it has a collision object which is spherical that covers the, the coin like that. This is uh, of a different uh, group than the rest, uh, we call this pickup because we don't want the player to die when he hits the coins, we don't want him to not like be, be separated from it, so, so let's call this pickup. Mask with hero, we also add a little bit of a script to this guy. And the script is really simple, it just uh, pretty much just re uh, responds to collisions and what it does when it collides with uh, something, which is only the player in this case, it will store its state uh, as collected and also disable the sprite so it disappears. It also has another little uh, message that it responds to, which says start animation. The animation uh, done on these guys is just a, a sinus um, wave form type of animation on the Y position, where it will dance up and down in a ping pong pattern. And we send in a delay parameter to this, to this uh, message. Right, where should we put these then? Um, one uh, way of doing it would be to, to add a factory to this level controller and have that one spawn coins in various places. Uh, that's one way of doing it. Uh, we figured that it would be nicer to tie the, those coins to the platforms. So uh, what, hap what we did was we added a coin factory to the actual platforms and alter the script for uh, the platform. So when it is um, uh, it, it has a new message that the res response to that is called create coins. Uh, and we call a function called create coins as well. Uh, we send in some parameters and we create a number of coins depend and that depends on, on the, on the uh, type of, uh, of platform. So we have, for example, the, this, this, this is a short platform, it, it only, only has room for uh, a certain number of coins, whereas the large platform has uh, room for more. Uh, and we can see, let's see here, we, we send in a num the number of coins we want to, to uh, create in a parameter here into the coins. And then it, it co uh, sends factory creates to the coin factory with a certain position, it also sets uh, the coin or the platform as parent to the coins, which means that the coins will move along with, with the platforms. We don't have to actually move those, so they will be, be moved around as the platform moves along. We also call the start animation with a certain delay and insert this into a local table uh, so we keep track on the, of the of uh, the spawned coins just yes, as we did with the platform. So when when this one is when the platform is deleted, a final function is called and then we we'll just run through the all the coins that we have on this platform and delete them. So it's very simple. And we also need added some a little bit of code on the let's see con level controller here. So we have a number of coins, it's set to three by default and if we have a long pl platform we double that so it becomes six and then we co post create coins to the platform and send the number of coins we want to create to that. So that's it and suddenly we have uh, coins animating that we can actually pick up here uh, on top of these platforms. Now this really starts to look like like a almost proper game. So it's just need just uh, some uh, visual flair and some some kind of tracking of, of uh, score and and 
lives and so. And if you're doing the, the tutorial on the website, I think this is where the tutorial ends and you um, are given a, ho a homework assignment to actually finish the game by yourself by adding some nice background imagery and, and make like add score counters and, and special effects and so forth.